first grade. Today we're going to make a monoprint of a butterfly. You're going to put your name on it and your first grade and your teacher's initial. And then you're going to take the paper and you're going to flip it over. But then I want you to fold it in half the wide way. On one half of the paper, I want you to draw half of a butterfly. So I usually do a small lump and a big lump. And in that, on that side, you are going to decorate it with paint. At your seats, you have yellow and orange paint and a cup of water for rinsing. So what I want you to do is paint it however, whatever colors or patterns that you want. You might have big, thick areas. You want to do this pretty quick because you want the paint to stay really wet because we are going to press it to the other side, which is um, going to leave a print of that wing. So really gob the paint on. When you're going to switch colors to your yellow, you're going to want to rinse it really well. And then finish painting that in. If you want it to mix as you go, that's fine. It most likely will mix quite a bit when you press it to the other side. Today we are just putting the solid color on. And then next time that we are together, we are going to be putting the black lines on for our monarch butterfly. So right now I have, um, it looks like a giant B. So if that helps you to put out the, the, the wings, draw a giant letter B. And then you're going to fold it back up and you're going to rub, squishing the paint to the other side. And then you're going to open it up to reveal two wings. Now, if you don't like like an area like this, you can go back over and just make sure you rub a little bit harder on that spot. Remember, prints aren't going to be an exact replica, so it's all right if you have the white. And then when it's done like this, I want you to take it over to the drying rack, carry it like a pizza. You're going to put your brush in the soapy bucket of water. You're going to throw your paints in the garbage can. You are going to dump your water in the sink and take your smock off. That's when you can wash your hands. Thank you so much for listening.